So this is the telescope I bought the other day, and I do apologise if this uh, video is a bit disjointed because I'm just adding a few clips that I've taken, but uh, I wanted to do an introduction on the equatorial mount and just explain why it's so useful to us if we're trying to watch objects in the sky or obtain video. Now, the equatorial mount, the idea behind it is that we align it with the latitude of our position, so that's uh, this angle, and then we also align it north-south, so it's pointing uh, directly south. Now, when you do that, when you align it north-south and adjust the uh, for latitude, it is then able to follow objects in the sky using just a single axis of rotation. Now, the axis of rotation we're talking about is this one. That's all you need to follow an object in the sky. Now, if we come down and have a look, the mount is actually moving right now. You'll see the top line, the azimuth, the angle is changing. So this axis is just very, very slowly rotating at basically the same rate, but in an opposite direction to the rotation of the Earth. And that's how it keeps objects stationary. You'll see the other axis is just not moving at all. And we could sit there for an hour and it still wouldn't move because it only takes one axis of rotation to keep the objects fixed. Now, if we think about um, a sun and moon doing circles above a flat Earth, it's absolutely impossible to track them with a single axis of rotation. You would need to use two axes, and I'm going to make a video in the future about that, explaining that a bit further. But this is one of the great advantages of uh, an equatorial mount. It allows us to track objects in the sky just with a single axis of rotation. Now, if we go into the setup of this telescope, we'll go into tracking, okay? Go into mode. You'll see we've got equatorial south. Now, if I was to change that to equatorial north, it's just not going to work in the southern hemisphere. We can also turn it off. Now, when we turn it off, it's not moving at all. Okay, we'll just go back to that other. Okay, you'll see now we've turned off the tracking. It's not moving at all. So let's turn it back on. Okay, we'll turn it to equatorial south. And the rate, we've got three options here. We've got sidereal rate, we've got solar or lunar, because the sun and the moon move slightly differently to, uh, to how the um, stars move. So I normally leave it on sidereal rate, just for looking at the stars. And that's now going to again show us that the mount is actually tracking. So I'll just play some of the other clips that I've got over the last few days and, uh, and then I plan to do further videos showing the, uh, the sun and also um, some video of the moon using this uh, telescope because we can actually attach a uh, digital SLR camera on the back. So I've just updated the firmware in the hand controller and the mount for this new telescope and I've got the P900 on top and the scope fitted with uh, solar filters so it's perfectly safe to look at the sun now. Uh, I brought the mount outside, I've just set it up correctly for latitude and I've also done a polar alignment which means the mount is facing directly south and by doing so the uh, equatorial mount only needs to rotate about this single axis to follow the objects in the sky. So let's just go to the sun, I'll show you how easy this is. Sun, enter, gives you a warning to not look at the sun without a proper filter. Now it's automatically going to position itself to look directly at the sun, and you'll see that in the shadow. Now anyone that's done any video of the sun or stars knows that if you're using a fixed tripod the um, object will move out of the frame very quickly because of the uh, rotation of the earth but uh, the beauty of having a telescope with an equatorial mount is that 
once it locks onto position, this mount slowly rotates at the same rate as the Earth's rotation, and that keeps the object in the viewfinder at all times. So, if you have a look now, you'll see that the sun is nicely centered in the P900 viewfinder, and it will stay there all the way. This telescope will now follow the sun until it sets. I don't have to do anything, and it will just maintain that object perfectly in the video frame. And there's the uh, moon, and just to the left, as I'm looking at it, is uh, Jupiter. Now, today I bought a computerized telescope. I've been wanting one of these for a while, and I saw them in the store the other day, so I thought it's time to get one. And uh, this has an equatorial mount with a motor drive and uh, a database of all the uh, stars. You can actually get it to um, track stars and planets and at the moment I've got my P900 piggybacked on a special mount with a telescope and the equatorial mount is just compensating for the rotation of the earth so the object in the viewfinder which is Jupiter and its moons is just remaining stationary. Now if you try to do this with a normal tripod the um, planet will move very quickly out of the viewfinder but uh, as you can see it's nice and steady due to that equatorial mount. Now I realize it's dark but um, I'll do some more videos over the next few days about this telescope and uh, hopefully get some good footage. I even bought a, a large solar filter that will fit right over the front of the telescope so we should get some really great footage of the sun as well. But there's Jupiter and a bit later on this evening Saturn will come out so I'll try and get some video footage of that as well. But it certainly holds the P900 rock steady, which is fantastic. So another advantage of this uh, equatorial telescope mount is due to its size and weight, it makes an incredibly stable platform for digital SLR photography. And there I've got my uh, Canon camera attached to the top. And uh, it's very useful if you're taking photographs or videos of objects like the Moon or Jupiter because the equatorial mount will keep the object in the center of the frame once you have it lined up and focused. Now anyone who's tried filming the moon or the planets with a standard tripod will tell you that the object moves fairly quickly out of the uh, the frame but uh, with the equatorial mount rotating opposite to the Earth's rotation it's going to hold that picture center frame but also there'll be no apparent rotation of the image so if we're focused on the moon it's going to give us a uh, nice clear sharp video and uh, one of the things I do want to try with this is to um, possibly get an ISS transit. There are several videos online where people have filmed the ISS passing in front of the moon and this camera is capable of 4K video at 60 frames per second and I'm hoping the combination of that plus the uh, equatorial mount holding the image perfectly steady on the moon should allow me to uh, capture the ISS. Now the other thing I was uh, looking for is a device to control the camera wirelessly and I wasn't even aware of this one but um, I saw it online today, Cam Ranger, and it's got quite good reviews. It um, connects to the camera with a USB cable and I've just got it mounted there with Velcro so it's on the, the moving part of the tripod. And what um, it allows you to do is just connect your iPad and control the features of the uh, camera wirelessly. That's the, that's the box of the Cam Ranger. And it works incredibly well. I've just got the iPad set up and I've just got the camera pointing up at the ceiling. And what we can do with this mount, this telescope mount, is just control the picture very, very smoothly. You'll see we can just pan left and right so accurately. So we can really line it up. Now you can adjust the speed of panning. That's a sort of mid-range there. We can make it go faster. And we can make it go incredibly slow, which uh, you wouldn't even see it moving on this uh, scale. But when you've got a telescope pointed right at a star, you can see it moving. Now the other advantage is that uh, it lets you adjust the focus settings. It lets you take video and photographs. You can just record that. just through the app itself. So there's no need to touch the camera. So you're not gonna get any shaking when you're taking video or a photograph. And you can also download the photo right away. 
and then go back to the live view and we can even record video from the app. So yeah, very useful uh, having this equatorial mount and I'm hoping to uh, get some nice video of the moon and possibly the planets as well.